record. There we go. Hey -o. Uh, hey -o. All right. Uh, continue, please. Let's do this shit. Backwards. Oh, hang on. Let me adjust my my personal audio real quick. All right. All right, stealthy. Where the fuck are we going? Lava land. Lava land. Can I warp there? Uh. Uh. Wait. What was the lava place called? Elders of Chaos. I I can't warp there. Great. Uh, Daughter of Chaos is where I'm going then. Right there. Oh, I can switch my helmet, right? I don't need the shitty spike ball helmet anymore. The area we're going is plenty bright. Hell yeah. You know, there should be an item in the Daughters of Chaos room that wasn't there before. I'll take a look at that. Down one of the hallways. Ooh, this one increases my HP a little bit. It's not as good stat-wise, like, for my defense and stuff, but my HP goes up and my weight goes way down. Or not way down, just a little bit down. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick to big boy for now. Cool. Near the very end of the hallway, there should be an item. I think. All right. There we are. Down the path we go. Yeah, luckily you can avoid fighting all the Capra demons by kind of dropping off the ledge just before them. The, the what demons? The goat demons, kind of in that like ruinous area where the bonfire was by the bug in the wall. Ah. Yeah, you can pretty much just drop down there instead of running through the like dozen Capra demons. Gotcha. Yeah, that's where I'll put my sign by the bonfire. Making my way over there now. There you are. I see the fucking demon guy. Or at least one of them. Yeah, don't fuck with me. I got big ass boy swords. Or axe, whatever. Whatever, you died anyway. You're a bitch. Later. I'm talking shit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> so... Your weapon might as well be a giant rock on a stick. That's really what it is, more or less. I know they call it an axe, but like this is the l least axy axe I've ever seen in my life. Oh, you said I could jump down. Yep. Oh, you can see my sign. Cool. Yep. Uh, here, let me. Right before I do that. That way I'm all refilled and everything and ready to go. Sounds good. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably best that you rest at this bonfire in the event that there's a <clears throat> disconnect during the boss fight. <laughs> that bit's never going to get old. <laughs> never is. All right, let's get out of here. All right, shitty meatball guys. I believe they're supposed to be like almost like infant versions of the first boss he fought in the asylum. They got that similar kind of like roundish body with like the different layers. I think at least makes sense to me. Yeah, I can see that. Can we fight this guy? 
Uh, we don't need to, but if you want to. Oh, wait. Hang on. There's a yellow thing over here? I don't know what that is. I want it, though. Yellow thing. Ooh, a demon great axe. Probably Spray. not as good as my rock on a stick, though. No. Rock on a stick is pretty strong. All right. How did you die? Oh, never mind. There we're going. Oh, I guess we're in here now. Oh, it's this guy. Round two. Oh, well, I, I exploded. Well, we're here now. Now with AOE attacks. All right. Ugh. I just say AOE attack. I mean, that's what it was, right? Area of... Yeah, I guess it's effects, not area of attack. Oh. That's a, that's a big boomer. You keep them busy. Yeah, I'm doing a great boomer. job, Stealthy. I'm keeping them busy. Oh, he there. did his ground pound. Okay, you cannot defend against that. But we don't need to because we won! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> yeah! Demons, Catalyst, and some humanity. Yeah, if you want to go back through the where we came from, I can summon you so you can get some extra souls. Hell yeah, let's do it. Leroy Jenkins! Oh god. That guy oh. Last stream. oh god. I have to. There's like a sneeze on the verge of happening. Oh god. I'm like trying to hold it in. The dragon scales are coming out. Oh. Uh, fucking rock, get out of here. This rock out in my way. I just want to get to the bonfire, please. I don't want that centipede thing coming at me like <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't wanna die. Yep. Real quick I'm gonna uh I'll save the level up because I probably can't even afford a good one right now. Uh do 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 uh white sign. There we go. Alright, you see where it is? The bonfire, I assume. Yeah, just like right there. Still waiting for it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh crap, I rested at the bonfire. No! <laughs> it's too close. It's no use. Now we have to fight all the enemies again. All five of them. Now I'll show you. <laughs> it's no use. <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't say that line in Sonic Generations. That's the last thing I want them to reference in that fucking game. The Sonic community ran it into the ground already. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, well, okay, well. Hell yeah, thank you. Nice. I got this, I got it. I missed it. Now I got it. Fuck him, he sucks. Bye. Quickly, before we do the boss fights. Wait, I only have, I only have two Estus? Yeah, it gives you half the amount of Estus I, you start with. God, I, I always forget that. I'm sorry. We're good. It won't be fine. Uh, before the boss fight, if you could go into view stats, should be the third. Yep. Like, option. What does our weapon one... What's, or 532. What's the, 532, okay. Just getting an idea for what damage your weapon is doing. Is Is that good right now or bad? It's pretty close to what I got. 
Nice. My weapon is max level, so he should be strong. Oh, he knocked me over. There we go. We got it. We got it. We cleaned him up twice. Let's go. Oh, uh, they, they Lucas Omega. Welcome. It's nice to see you. Hey, <laughs> and, uh, I, Hey, I've never died in dark souls. Quick girl. Don't die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the stream. Happy to see you here. There they are. <laughs> yeah. Lucas is, uh, from, well, I know them from the, GPG server and whatnot. So, hello, Lucas. Oh, I just remembered this. Uh, once you beat this boss, you actually unlock a shortcut right outside of the Daughters of Chaos bonfire. Oh, oh, <laughs> whoops! That, like round <laughs> the round thing that you kind of stepped over and asked if this that was an elevator way back. Turns out it was. Yep. I just complete forgot what made it work I am like beefing up my uh my endurance right now just jumped in to say hello I got stuff to do and you're doing great I haven't seen you die yet exactly I've never died in Dark Souls so all right um I keep saying that <laughs> and, but it's it's still not incorrect so what the fuck? Oh, I thought that was like... I thought he was just chilling on that podium there. I was going to kill him. Um, so, where should I go then? After the boss room? Uh, basically, run through the other side of the boss room. And there should it should lead to the elevator that leads to the Daughters of Chaos bonfire. Grotch. Bye, Lucas. Goodbye, Kirby. Is that like a terminal montage thing? Yes. Uh, in uh, his... Uh... Oh! Ah! No! Get, get... Fire. What are you saying? Um, try not to die. Sorry, hang on. No problem. Alright, there we go. Keeping the streak alive. Um, in uh, Terminal Montage's uh, uh, World of Light video, uh, there's a part where Mario turns into Master Hand and just says, Goodbye, Kirby. <laughs> Boyo. Po Boyo! <laughs> Sad Boyo. <laughs> Boyo! <laughs> I've seen too many Terminal Montage videos. They're so fun. I did it. <laughs> I love these vi these fucking messages. I did it. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, I'd have to say my favorite terminal montage is... I think it's Kirby in the Amazing Mirror, where the bad guy at the end says, The internet is tired of your chromosomes. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Amazing Mirror one because it's it's literally just a bunch of children just running running rampant. And <laughs> slowly making my way up the stairs. The speech at the end. Let's see, quote scripture. I just love right. that he pops up with an, a YouTube like a YouTube comment saying, "Can you stop doing this? It's not funny." <laughs> He's like, oh yeah? <laughs> it's not funny, huh? I think it's pretty pulls funny. Like a, pulls out like a Liam Neeson-esque kind of reading of scripture. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, is there anything in this room I should like be aware of before I head up? Nope. 
Okay. best to use the Daughters of Chaos bonfire. That's what I'm planning on. It should give you more Estus than the other one. <laughs> oh yeah, another thing. You can actually kill bonfire keepers and like gain bonfire keeper souls from that and then give those bonfire keeper souls to other bonfire keepers. <laughs> this flask. Nice. So, like, if you're completely done with Anne or Londo, you can just kill the Bonfire Keeper there. Hell yeah. Is that something we should do? Uh, maybe once we're finished this zone. Okay. Alright, so where to? Uh, one of the paths should lead to the boss room, like a big drop. It's like a big staircase down. Uh... Down the elevator. Oh, d go down the elevator? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can drop into the boss room. I think you turn around and continue. Ah, stairs down. There we go. Oh, wait. No, that's where I came from. Is that? Yeah. Oh, there's also stair or there's a staircase downwards as well. Ah, here we go. Uh, this one leads to where I was. Or is this the... Oh, oh, you mean the previous boss room. Got it. I thought you meant like a new boss room. I was like, wow. Kill it, clean it up. Nope. Different boss room. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's right. Back the fuck up. You know I'm, I'm bad shit. Um, Alright, so... Opposite way. So, not that way. Oh, not that way? The tree area? That's where we came from, like, earlier. Yeah, the tr should I go to the this area? You should go through the boss room to the other side of it. No. Not through the tree area, no. Like, this is the entrance to the boss room? Yeah, yeah. And you keep on running through. Oh, and then there's a staircase to continue going down? Yes. Ah, garage. All right. Oh, hey. Another bonfire. Sick. There's boss number two. Oh, wait, really? It's just like right there? Yep, just chucking them at us. Nice. Is this one I can handle, or...? I bet you could, although I wouldn't mind the souls. Yeah, fair enough. Let's get you in here. Where are you at? Where you at, are bitch? You at the, are you at the bottom, or are you by the boss? Or by ah, the that, oh, wait. There's another sub. There's a summon sign that isn't yours. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Amiibo guy! Let's go! I'll place my sign by Amiibo guy. Hell yeah. Let's go. Wait, can I summon Amiibo guy and then summon you, or no? Sure. Okay. Amiibo guy, get in here, you son of a bitch. Waiting for yours, though. Ah. And Stealthy Tato. Stealthy Tato. Couldn't put the P in there. <laughs> Didn't fit. Stealthy potate. <laughs> so the next, or er, this boss fight's gonna have a bunch of lava. Oh, fun! I like that. So we can, if we go to the right side, there should be a more open area that we can fight the boss in. To the right, you said? Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, I kind of see it there. Yeah, so you probably want to run there, heal up, run again. Oh, well, this thing's horrifying to look at, and I hate it. Mm -hmm. What even is this thing? 
the centipede demon. Yeah, it's like nine centipedes that are on fire fused together. How do you even stay alive, you creepy thing? Well, power. Running to the right, running to the right, running to the right. And there's an item here. Green type. Solaire's, Solaire's just going to fight him. <laughs> you got Solaire, what are you doing? Solaire, you're just like chilling in lava, dude. You can get out of there. It's okay. This guy here. Uh, I didn't see your health go up at all. I did a kind of regen first. Ah, gotcha. Sick dodge. Maybe we should back up more to have him come over here. Yep. Sorry about that. Oh, well, that pushed me away. Is there any specific limb I should be going for? Not really. Ah, no, I'm in the fire. Ah, get me out of the fire. Ah. <laughs> oh, hey, got his tail though. Orange charred ring. So that lets you walk on lava while taking minimal damage. Hell yeah. Oh my God, you shot me. Homeward Bone, Humanity, and Sunlight Metal. Let's go. Pog. So if you want to place your sign just before the boss fight, then we can do that again. Oh, should I equip the ring or no? Yeah, it would be helpful. <laughs> Getting back. Yeah. Uh, what's the one that breaks? The Favor and Protection? Yeah, it's the one that breaks. Okay, so Havel's Ring. All right. Yeah, if you try to get rid of the favor and protection ring, it basically asks, are you sure about that? <laughs> Yo, Podunk. How's it going? Podunk. Yeah. That's uh, that's who just showed up in the chat. They're cool. They're the ones I uh, bought my core and Amiibo from. Sweet. Because I was a dummy and sold my original for a very low value for some reason. Hell yeah. Happy to hear it. Alright, place my summon sign down before the boss door. Oh, I should... Hang on. There we go. I see it. Welcome to the stream. We're uh, playing Dark Souls Remastered, a game that uh, is uh, very difficult. and We're having a hard time, but we're having fun, so it's okay. You say as we breeze past two bosses. Don't worry about that part. That part, <laughs> that, that part's easy stuff. Never died in Dark Souls. Remember that. Then legs. <laughs> right, I was about to say, your character's really funny looking when they're walking on lava with bare feet. Hot, 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 hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Get the, get the fuck over here. Hey, no damage. Let's go. <laughs> that, that centipede dragon is trying its best to kill fucking Solaire. Count that it's weak to light. Oh, that would have that would have been tight. Take that nerd. Uh, I don't think you hit it. It was just out of range. Free throwing these. Yeah, it did some decent damage. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Target someone else. <laughs> I 
Well. <laughs> he keeps punching you two, but it hasn't gone for me once. It's ready that time. Wait, you cut its arm off. Let's go. That's one way to get the charred ring earlier in the event that you died during the boss fight. Like chopping its arm off. Hell yeah. Ah! Ah! Put me down! Put me down! Fuck you! That's not good. Oh, that barely did any damage. Whatever. Bitch. What a bitch. Come over here. Yeah, you guys can fight him in the lava, but I can't. Yeah, we, we'll distract him if you want. Oh, I can just equip the ring. Well, he's almost dead anyway. It doesn't really matter. I'll just throw lightning bolts from here. There we go. Doodle -doodle 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 -doodle. Easy. Easy peasy. Yo, I got 69... Uh... Thousand subs. Nice. Let's go. Oh, 89. It's not as nice, but. That's pretty good. Yeah. We're chilling. We're chilling. Okay. Not fat. All right. Now, uh, what? Wait, why do I have a boot icon now? Oh, that's the lava thing. Yeah. I can change the lava thing now, though. I think we'll need it for going through the zone. Ah, gotcha. I'll hold on to it then. So if you go through the boss door and on the left side of the arena, there should be a path open. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Rocket big boy status. We've beaten, what, three bosses now? Right, basically? Two bosses today. <laughs> ah, L, what's going on? Welcome. Hello. Nice to see people. Hey, yo. These Dark Souls streams are usually very quiet, so... It's nice to actually see people here. <laughs> well, I mean, quiet other than me and Stealthy, but, you know, it is what it is. Humans. <laughs> we have plenty of humanity in the chat. Oh, is that Amiibo guy? Why? Why? After all, it'd be Amiibo guy. I still can't find it. Can't, what can't he find? Why can't he find it? Because he killed his son, the son might mag it. Oh, does he, does he want it? I can give him the corpse, right? <laughs> like, that's kind of yes. fucked up, but I can do it. If you hadn't killed it, then you would find him that, or there, with the sunlight maggot kind of on his head. <laughs> completely hollowed out as a hostile enemy. Nice. So this kind of saves him. Alright, now I'm just running across lava. If you want, you can summon me by the oh. bonfire. Oh, I can do that? Alright, hang on. Go back. Cool. Sign is by Solaire. And just to style on the game, I'm going to run through lava the whole time. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Summon... Get stealthy up in here. Rocking big boy status with my axe. You know how I mentioned that we'll be fighting dragon asses. Oh, is that coming up now? Yep. Hell yeah. Wait, how many more bosses do we have in this area? Uh, the big boss. Oh, is that That's it? Good. We're just running to it. Hell yeah. So you like the color orange? Yeah. Well, I actually do. Yes, I actually love the color orange. <laughs> so. It used to be way more brighter in the original game. Oh, really? Like eye searingly orange. Oh, uh, gross. Yeah, so if you look over here, you can see a bunch of dragons. Oh, yeah, they're just like dragon asses. Yep. With teeth? Great. Yes, they forgot to bring the rest of them. Uh, I can't walk up the path. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. I don't. I don't know what that was. That was weird as shit. Some geometry shenanigans. Yeah, some geometric shenanigans. 
So if I recall correctly, in like the very like 1.0 version of Dark Souls, these dragon asses have like ginormous like sight ranges. Mm -hmm. So like running through here, we'd be attacked by like five of them. Oh no! Which luckily they t toned down. So, Wait, like, so they toned them. down the dragon asses, but not those like ultra goat demons from before. It's weird what they choose to make easier. I'm surprised they made anything easier, to be honest. Huh, I can open a chest. Cool. Uh, I can pillage it. I didn't know that a summon could open a chest. Huh, interesting. <laughs> now what? I just have all these asses staring at me. Yeah. I'll try to lure one towards us. My lightning. Yoshi. Yoshi. Yum cheese. Grilled cheese. Luckily, they don't respawn. Oh, that's good. There we go. It's like a sea of asses. Just an endless cascade of ass. Just an ass-cade. An ass-cade. <laughs> you could say it's a shitty arcade. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow, I'm so glad I turned down sound effects in the in the settings. Chunk, 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 chunk. Yeah, like that that constant fire sound effect would drive me mad. Bonfire. Touch the bon. Oh, touch the blood stain. Never mind. Goodbye, stealthy. Goodbye. Light it up. I almost got 100k. Let's go. Same Yo, that's, that's two level ups. Um, hmm. Would raising my strength really matter at this point, or should I just go into health? What's your strength at? Uh, 40. Yeah, I'd say 40 is a pretty good stopping point. Okay. Unless you want to one-hand your axe. Uh, what level do you think I need for that? Uh, I honestly don't know for the Dragon Great Axe. It should be in the stats menu. Okay, hang on. I assume it's around, like, 45 or 50. Ooh. Um, change the equipment? Ah, oh, my Great Axe. Come back. Get in here. Uh, how do I know what the number is? Uh, let's see. If you press the X button, it should ah. be... 50, right. okay. For him. Yeah, the big muscle kind of arm. Well... Here, I'll put two into HP for now. <clears throat> that way I can get a little extra survivability out here. And uh, I'm good. So you and want me to oh, need me to put down my sign or no? If you're content with two-handing the Great Axe, then you don't really need to put any more into it. Yeah, because like, honestly, like th using it as the shield works plenty because it's so fucking bulky, you know? And then I only use, I've only been using the shield I currently have because it has the stamina recharge, so. I'm at the bonfire. Okay. Yeah, place my sign there. Oh, okay. 
just remembered that the item that I mentioned that should be at the Daughters of Chaos bonfire mm -hmm. only spawns after we get to a certain point in this level. For ah. some reason, I thought it was already spawned. Gotcha. A little preemptive there. Let's go. All right, so which way are we going? So we technically could, you know, go all throughout the lava and get a bunch of items, but nah. <laughs> not, not really worth it for the amount of damage and time it would take. Not worth it. Fair enough. We got yeah. quest lines to finish. But I want to kill the dragon asses. But do you, though? All right. Do have, really? a, have a good night, Padunk. Nice to see you. Stop by again sometime. All right. If you want, you can take off the charred ring for this. Oh, okay. Thank God. Because I'm currently on slow boy mode. Fast roll. Ah, it feels, it feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders, quite literally. Yeah, with the orange charred ring mm. it also makes it so that when you kick you do fire damage uh. it's not much but it's there just a funny little touch so the fire area was like the last one they worked on is that correct <clears throat> yeah, pretty sure this and the tomb of giants were some of the last areas they worked on and, and that's why, like, at the... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that's why this zone is, like, 50% just a flat wasteland of orange. I mean, like, thematically, it's, like, kind of cool. It's, like, different than the rest of them, because it, there's, like... The rest of the game is, like, pretty vertical and whatnot. But, like, it just... You could tell it has, like, that kind of cheapness factor to it, you know? <laughs> They're like, uh, put a bunch of, uh... Fuck you. Just flatten. He ran at us like, I will hit them with my fire spell. Oh no. Who are oh, you? Just got him. Fucking pranked. What? So now an item will spawn at the Daughters of Chaos bonfire. Nice. And humanity acquired. Oh wait. Hang on. That shitty mage dropped something. Some catalyst. I don't know. Wait, is that just like a octopus cauldron? With, like, what? Demons. Bitch. Pranked. It's like, looks like something that should be in Bloodborne. Yeah, right? Chaos Fire Whip. Not gonna use that. Nope. Get this. Nope. Trying to remember where the next quest line is. Because to the right there's the bo or the boss, but we'll do that in a second. There's like another thing we need to touch first or talk to. Mm -hmm. Grotch. Maybe it's down here. Oh, it's all these boys. Oh, it's, uh, this way. I was busy killing meatballs. Uh, oh, well, there's a hole in the ground. Hello. Oh, there he is. Hello, friend. So, for the next part, before you talk to him, this is kind of where his quest line can go in multiple directions before it ends. Oh. You can either... He will help us in a fight coming up, and if he ends the fight with... I think it's more than 25 
or with more than 50% of his health, his quest continues. You okay? But, mm, up. Uh, so we, we want him to make sure he's like good and healed. Yeah, we hopefully we want him to end the fight with more than 50% of his health. Okay. Perhaps the time has come. Um, sir, I will write those dire pleas, sir. I will come over the night to the proper command. Uh, okay. Oh! Charge! a few more of them uh or, or, what's hit oh yep but still well it must be rest i think i'll have a rest oh don't you worry round below me is my pillow i'll recover oh he just fell asleep hmm. yeah he's just asleep now okay not like I, don't a... know if, I don't know if that means he ends his quest or not. He just said, like, know. oh, I did it. Okay, I'm exhausted now. Bye. We'll find out soon enough. Well, sounds good. Let us carry on. So I know he took, like, one or two pot shots at the beginning there. We drop. Or we go around? We go around. Yeah, that's a... Pretty sure that's a bottomless pit. Oh, great. <laughs> Where is the exit? <laughs> Perhaps it's one of these holes. Oh, stairs. Hello. Thank God. Uh, so. Oh, trying to remember where to go. What was that rumbling? I don't know. Maybe we have to go back down here? I don't know. Yeah, I hear something like walking around and it's big. Hmm. Weird. Might be another one of those Chaos Eater enemies. Maybe, yeah. I have no clue how to get out of here. Uh, the way we came? <gasps> oh, I fell down. We fell through the ceiling to get here. Uh. Oh, like this. I found it. Okay, well, I fell down a pit again, so you'll have to excuse me while I find my way back. I think Seekmire's quest continues, because I believe if he fails, then he pretty much dies immediately after talking to you. Oh, yeah, he didn't die. He just like, I'm tired, went to bed. He is pretty well versed in taking naps in poisonous places. <laughs> True. All right. Uh, 
There you are. Hello. I wonder if they ever considered that, like, having very narrow, hard-to-reach spots is a bad idea for finding exits. Level design. Le level design. My favorite. I'll take three of your finest. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we go up here, right? So. The boss. To the boss. I'll just switch out my weapon. So this boss is going to be interesting. Why? Basically, it has two kind of warps on either side of it. Mm -hmm. And we have to destroy the orbs in which then the center of the boss can be accessed. Nice. But it'll try to smack you, and it's like a kind of walking a tightrope, similar to the Anor Londo archers. Oh, no. Oh, we're sliding. Only, only Alright, go to the orb on the right. Orb on the right. Orb on the right. Orb on the right. I see orb. <laughs> there. Oh, I cannot. Okay, there we go. Nope. Yeah, making my way downtown. Smack! I'll try to get to the one on the left if you want to move to more of like the back center back center okay pretty much where you dropped oh okay gotcha i thought you meant behind the monster so i'm glad you clarified that a bunch of holes start popping up so probably you want to stick more to the kind of wall area all right running Running back! Yep. It immediately popped up. Like, I kid you not, the hole just immediately showed up. That's the bed of chaos. Alright, well... We're here, I guess. So you know how that one person in the comments, when we started, asked what my worst favorites and... Or my least favorites and my favorite boss were. Is it this one? And I said, and I said my favorite was the gaping dragon, and my least favorite was the bed of chaos. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, yeah, that makes sense, bed of chaos. Ah, so this is why it's the worst. Yeah. All right. Um, well, that's great. I'll place my sign again, unless you want to do it solo. No, no, no. I don't know. Last thing I want to do is fight this shitty thing solo. Now I have to equip the fucking shared ring again. Mm -hmm. Alright. I think I remember how to get back there, though. So We're grilled cheese on that front. Good thing you caught the, uh, the... equipping the ring thing again. Yeah. <laughs> I just run into the middle of it and die again. Not that I've ever died to begin with, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Happens more than you'd think. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people died in Dark Souls, but I've never done it. Not once.
is the uh is the bed of chaos like difficult or is it just like a shitty situation it puts you in that makes it tough it's the Anor Londo archers of boss fights oh great so all of the above I mean, it's not really even a boss fight. Like, once you get to the center of the boss, it's over. Oh, really? It's just getting there and not dying in the process. Or disconnect like a, we did. There used to be a funny kind of glitch where if you look from, like, the left side going down the stairs, you can see just, like, a gray world box. <laughs> and, like, see the just the floor of the boss arena nice the void you can really tell they were rushing to get this game done oh oh wait uh, where where's my where's my shit fuck you are you fucking kidding me are you actually fucking kidding me right now of chaos. Shut up. <laughs> I hate better chaos. Better chaos sucks, dude. <laughs> Gonna be real. God damn it. I hate that. I hate everything about that. Is that like a normal thing what just happened to me? Getting smacked into the into a hole. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I love it. It like shot a beam at me and I'm like, okay, that's the attack. I can run this way now. I'm like, I'm good. And then it was like, but also my shitty wooden hand. And it's like, oh, okay, well. All right. I have to re-equip the fucking... Again. Honestly, I'm tempted to just leave it equipped because I know I'm going to... Disconnect again, you know? Yeah. Are you going to put your sign down again? or? Yeah, I just placed it by the fire. Okay. Do you manage to pick up your stuff, or is that gone? No, it's gone. Okay. So we don't have to go back and get it. So I guess life. not. So, uh, so does the boss fight have, like, a checkpoint for those orb parts, or no? Yep. Once you destroy one, it stays destroyed forever. Oh, thank God. Yeah, once both of them are destroyed, you have to kind of make a beeline down the middle and, like, drop onto a platform. And once you've dropped onto the platform, you're safe. Gotcha. Well, I mean, it can do, like, a AoE kind of pyromancy attack, but as long as you get onto land, you're fine. We can pretty much run past all these. Gotcha. There we go. Three. Yeah. Yeah, if you want, I can try to go left while you stay in in the center. Uh sure. So that once I destroy the second barrier, you can make a beeline for the boss. Or for the center of the boss. Sure. Sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sadly, I can't enter the boss room until you pretty much hit the floor. So now I'm skidding down.
I'm assuming shielding myself won't really do much. Don't think so. You doing alright over there? I think I went the wrong way. Oh. Huh. Keep running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running. Just die. Got it. There we go. Hell yeah. Then we just make a beeline for the center, you said? A cautious beeline, I should say. A cautious beeline. Fair enough, fair enough. As a bunch of ground starts to crumble below you oh great the exact thing i don't want well all the ground crumbled so here we are <laughs> i'm dead oh well i made a beeline for the center i'm in i'm in there let's we go let's go let's go you beat, you beat the boss Single-handedly, too. First try. <laughs> oh, is this... Do I hit it? Ah, there we go. Nice. That was it? That's the boss. Not happiness. I did it. Praise the sun. Surprise, it only took three tries. Yeah, you better give me a fucking level up for that, you stupid shit. Alrighty. Uh, so, can I warp somewhere, or...? Now that I think about it, I don't think you can warp to the bonfire you were previously at. Ah, uh, but that's where I need to go? Mm, that's where I am. Okay, I can do that. I can always fight the bed of chaos on my own, if you want to progress somewhere else uh no no i'll help you out with it it would it would feel a little shitty on my end if i did that um okay so obviously i'm like all right with the bonfire on the bed of chaos uh where would be like the best warp point you think i'm missed the honestly i think daughters of chaos Oof. It's quite a run. So you pretty much have to go through the shortcut, then past the centipede demon, run across the lake. <sighs> could always go somewhere else. No. 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 Or I could just fight the boss on my own. Are you, are you sure? I'd feel bad. It's a, it's a long rock, but I don't mind doing it. Yeah, I can fight it on my own time. It's not too bad. If I have plenty of time. Yeah. Alright. Uh, in that case, uh, where would you recommend on going? Uh, so before we do the next area, we'll want to do kind of a side optional area. Mm. So you're going to want to go back to Firelink. Ooh. Firelink. Okay. So we are now going to trade dragon asses for bird women. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love that. It's a good trade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so once you're back at Firelink, you can go to the elevator to, like, go to the undead parish. Nice. And as soon as you get on the elevator, you'll want to get off to the area slightly above. There should be a platform that you can walk on to. Okay, so go to the Undead Parish, you said? Uh, go to the elevator that leads to the Undead Parish. Oh, okay. So and go... 
once you get on the elevator, there should be a platform like a couple of feet upwards that you can pretty much go off of. Yep. Okay. So on the grassy area to the right, there should be like a pillar leading to that big like spiraling tower. Ah. Okay. Yeah, you can either try to jump onto there or roll up to there. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so you want to go all the way to the top. Okay, I can do that. There, there is an item on the church, like to our right side. I don't think it's necessary, but you can get an item. Uh, do I want to curl up like a ball? Yes, yes you do. Okay. I I don't I don't know why I'm why I'm doing this. Does a bird get me? You're an egg. I am an egg. I'm you a big egg. red, gray, yellowish, glowing green egg. Takes a second. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I fell asleep. Where? Oh, there's Mama. Sure. Goodbye, world. So sadly, I can't be summoned into this zone. Oh, why is that? Uh, just this zone. You can't like put your summon sign down. Don't know why. Ah, oh, gotcha. So once you get back into the asylum, I would recommend just hugging the right side and not going into the center room where you originally fought the asylum demon. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> just just, just uh, ahead. I got mail or something? Hang on, I need to find out what this is. I don't know what I ordered. Unboxing. In my stream. Well, it's a it's an unbagging. It's I I don't know. Like <laughs> unbagging. Cause it's like a bag, but I'm I don't know what I got. <gasps> Yo! Okay. I do know what I ordered. You ready for this? This is hype as shit. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. The live premiere of my fucking Good Vibes Gaming mask. Yo, let's go. Yo, this is like so nice. Yo. Yo. I need someone to clip that. Can can we clip that? I'm going to post that on Twitter. That's cute. I love that. Uh, hang on a sec. Maybe I can just do it. Hang on. What am I doing? Looking good. No. Okay. Come on. Yep. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to die standing in this spot, am I? No. I don't think the enemy is walk forward. All right. Cool. 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 Uh... How, how do how do you do there you go okay give me one second no problem. Uh, to the center room where you originally fought the asylum demon just ahead. I got mail or something? Hang on, I need to find out what this is. I don't know what I ordered. Hang on a sec, I'm almost done with it, sorry. Well, it's a, it's no problem. Bagging. It's, I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> unbagging. Because it's like a bag, but I'm, I don't know what I ordered. This is probably really fun to watch. To the asylum, I would oh, yeah. Just hugging the right side and not going into the center. Not going to bring out the like GA. We'll be right back. Thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I could do that, but I don't edit it out anyways. Oh! Yeah. Okay. I do know what I ordered. You ready for this? This is hype as shit. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. The live premiere of my fucking Good Vibes Gaming mask. Yo, let's go. All right, there we go. I've published it. It's clipping now. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to post that on Twitter and then 
we'll be good to go. <laughs> so with with this area, you were giving me a tip on it. What was that exactly? Once you go through the door and like into the asylum demon boss room, it's advised not to walk on the like bricks in the center and to stay on the right or left side. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> Probably best to go to the bonfire on the right side first. Okay. Sounds good. Uh... What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Throwing that on the ground. Alright, now I'll listen. <laughs> you're, he you're, will. You fucking suck. Yeah. God, you suck. You talk a lot of shit for someone who died in Dark Souls. <laughs> All right. The healthiest of friendships. <laughs> Stealthy just says the healthiest of friendships. Now, pull that back up. Dark Souls. Okay, you said stick to the right side, right? Yep. All right. Could be a bonfire through the door. Uh, uh I, I can't quite tell what the right side is because it's all cliffs. Oh, like once you go into the asylum. Oh, okay. Gotcha. After fighting all the Shitty torch guys. fucking fire guys. Get out of here. Two for one, baby. You all limp bitches. Get out of here. Limp bitches. Limp the bitches. That's what they is. The rebrand of Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> it's official. You heard it here first. In the official Arman X Direct special. Can we not do that right now? I hate this. <laughs> All right, going down the right side, and... and then there's a bonfire. Yeah, there you go. Oh wait, this is the opening area, right? Yep. Uh, why can't I touch there. the bonfire? You should be able to. Maybe there's an oh enemy yeah, the, the fucking shitty knife guy showed up. There we go. Can I get a level up? No, I can't. Okay. All right, now where to? And now you can go back into the boss room. And like go into the center if that's. Oh, I fell. Yep. Oh hey, it's it's our best friend. One of these guys I can. Oh. Well, this is cool. I'm just like in a corner now. Oh god. A good strategy is kind of staying to the left or right side. Why? And What's on the left or right? Uh, generally, if you stay at like that kind of area, the boss will go for like the butt bounce attack instead of doing an AoE attack. Gotcha. Whereas if you 
stand in front of it, so it'll usually try to do an AoE or a smash. Yo, thank you. Don't get distracted, you're a cunt. I hate you. <laughs> I just read that second part. You suck. My roommate just resubscribed. Yep. Oh, okay. I got one Estus left in a bag of dreams. Let's go. Okay, well, my dreams suck. Oh my god, are you fucking comboing this right now? You fucking suck, my dude. Yeah, get fucked, you shitty demon. Pogs. Homeward bone time. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, thank you. All right. Yeah, All right. Poggers? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Shut up. Uh. All right, so Homeward bone? Is that right? Uh, there should be a ladder in the boss room somewhere. Ah, gotcha. Um, looking around for that. You're doing it because you think you're funny, and that's like the worst part of it, Troy. I'd recommend healing up if you have a humanity, just ah. in case. Yeah, it's a good call. Seeing as you're out of Estus. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Okay. Ladder. Oh, one of those rungs is fuck up. So we gotta take a look at that now. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting tutorial messages now. <laughs> yeah, sorry, shitty night. I don't care about you. Peculiar doll. Yep. Now you can leave the zone. Oh, now I can? Yep. So just homeward bone? Mm-hmm. Use item. Return to last bonfire. Uh, yeah, I can do one level up right now. Um, let's, uh, let's go for health for now. Uh, I got my, <clears throat> my stamina is probably good and I have the, uh, the recharging shield. So, um, I'm just going to focus on health from now on. Mm -hmm. Um, where would you recommend going to? To the Anorlando bonfire. Off we go. All right. And here we are. So from there, you'll want to go to the elevator down to like the spinny bridge. Okay. The one where we constantly had to cross it to, <laughs> to make our way to the archers. Mm -hmm. All right. Al, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you chewing on? Oh, it's one of his toys. He's alright. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you chewing on, dog? Alright. Making my way uh, up the stairs, then? <clears throat> uh, you'll want to go to the like control for the spinny bridge. 
Okay, turning around. Oh, with like the brass knuckles on top. Contraption does not move. The big like wheel in the center. Ah, uh, I'm smart. <laughs> I do like how, like, in Dark Souls 3, there's a bonfire kind of by that area. So a lot of people in the first game like to retroactively place messages like bonfire, question mark. <laughs> Alas, it is gone. Yeah, so you want to push it so it goes downwards. I conveniently did that without even realizing. All right. It should link up to the painting area. Or the area where we were balancing. Oh, yeah. The oh, these the fucking rafters. shitty knife guys. Get out of here. I hate you. Um, all right. Oh, lots of shitty knife guys. Okay. Uh, I just have to go through them, I guess. Yeah, you'll want to get to the ginormous painting at the very end there. Didn't need to do this. Don't care. Did it anyway. Thank you for rolling directly in front of me where I could hit you with my giant weapon. Thank you for walking in front of me so I could hit you. Oh, oh, thank you for rolling back to me killed fucking these knife guys suck yeah i didn't know they could backstab you huh i just got backstabbed by one of them. oh yeah oh wait you got that. backstabbed yep Yep, I just got backstabbed. All right, well. That sucks. <laughs> just saw that. Uh, should I restore my humanity before going back? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, you can do it later on. Okay, that's good at least. All right, <clears throat> I'll actually sleep at the bonfire this time. Thank you. I always forget you have to like re like sit back down at it. You can't just like not, you know? <laughs> hey, you have to physically rest at it. Praise the sun. Uh, hello, elevator. Oh, there you are. Oh, goodbye, dog. You go bye-bye. How come with this elevator, it's just on a timer, but every other elevator has a button? I don't know. Great. It's a special elevator. Wait, um, so how do I get back down there? There should be a kind of switch on the side. Uh, nope. The thing that you thought earlier was what I was referring to as the lever. Yeah, but that's on the other side. There should be one there as well. There's not. You sure? Uh, I don't see it. Is it over here? No? Yeah. Over here? Is it in, in the room? 
maybe try warping to the princess chamber bonfire. Okay. We return. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> Yo, I'm like really pumped for that mask, by the way. Like, let's fucking go. Was there anything else for me? Like mail or no? All right. Uh, chamber of the Princess. Alrighty. Oh, big booby lady. Hello. Oh, and then I can, like, go down from her. Right. Yeah, you can jump down and run across through the big doors. Oh yeah, this is a much easier time. Huh? What was that? No, he's in voice chat. I mean, I can see the chat. <laughs> Stealthy can see the chat if that's what you're asking. Two boys. I mean, there's lots of boys in the game, so. You mean. You mean Ornstein and Smo? Ornstein and Smo? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we beat them ages ago. Yeah, we beat them a while ago. Yeah. Maybe if you watched, you would know. Damn. Come on, man. All right, well, these two fucking dudes are having a blast right now. All right, I'm out of here. Bye. See you next stream. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Back the fuck up. Don't come near me. How did that happen? Wait, so is there no way to uh, get to that place without pushing the the switch in the middle? You have to push the switch in the middle, yes. Okay. Off we go. <laughs> Round two. I see my stuff over there, so I'm going to go for that in a minute. Actually, now that I think about it, I have... I have some shit I could throw, right? To, like, aggro them one by one, right? Could go that way. Ah, there we go. This fucking idiot. Pranked. Pranked. Right. Just slowly pranking them. Walking with some fools. Oh, 
that was my my one throwing knife, damn it. There we go. And then backstabbed. Good, good. All taken care of. And then, ooh, black iron stuff. Don't know if it's any good, but. Oh, and then a great sword and a shield. Okay. Arcus's set. Are those uh, any good in your opinion, or not really? As far as heavy armor goes, it's pretty. Not as good as Havel's stuff. Yeah, Havel seems to be much better. Although significantly heavier. Yeah, very much so. So once you're ready, I believe if you go to the center of the picture, there should be a prompt. Yeah, I'll do that. Picture. <laughs> Is this Mario 64 status? Yep. Yeah, what was the name of the villain from Persona 5, the painting guy? Oh, Madarame. Yeah, with this gigantic pictures. <laughs> Painted world of Ari Ariamis? Ariamis? Yeah. Ariamis. Should be a bonfire up ahead. Okay. I'll place my sign down by there. Okay. We can't level up here. Uh, summon sign. Hello. I don't think you're human. <laughs> Every time. I, I, it's such a dumb mechanic. I'm gonna be real with you. In the later games, they made it so you just have to consume the item. Good. Good. Have to, to get a bonfire. Is there, uh, is there, like, an easy way to, uh... Oh, well, that was a cheap shot. You're a bitch. Um, is there, like, an easy way I can go about uh, upgrading my Estus, or no? Because, like, I need the Firekeeper's shit, but obviously that's, like, not easy to come by, so... Currently, in this zone, we can't leave, so, sadly, we can't do that. Gotcha. Wait, so you want to upgrade the Estus Flask itself, or the amount of Estus Flasks? Uh, how much I get healed per using an Estus. Okay, that we can't do at the moment. Okay. Sadly. Hell yeah. I'll just do the regen. Hell yeah. Yeah, 
again, these weird kind of blotchy things do toxic damage when they die. Yeah, noticed. <laughs> Honestly, should have stocked up before coming here. Uh, yeah. I, I, I do have like eight or nine blooming ones, so... Yeah, I've got a of the clubs. decent amount, but not like, you got them. <laughs> yeah, I've got a decent amount, but not as many as I would like. What would you say is a normal amount? Uh, maybe I can give you a couple? I mean, I have like 15 or 16. I just, it's always good to have like 20 or 30 or something like that. Ah, fair enough. So you don't have to worry about running out. You'd rather have too many than too little. I feel that. I think this is the way we came, yeah? I'm to remember. I think there's an item down here. Albino rats. Brave warrior. I just wanted the souls. <laughs> what is that from? It's one of those Dark Souls animations. Ah, gotcha. Just gonna equip the purple moss to my hot bar. Yeah, the uh, Estus and the blooming purple moss clump are the only things I have. And that, my healing. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, that regen doesn't last a while, does it? Not long, no. Oh, he survived. There we go. Yeah, if I kill them from a distance, then we shouldn't have to worry about it. Push. Got him. Pranked. <laughs> see, see that thing on the bridge there? That, th oh, that? That's a yeah. fucking Bloodborne boss, is that what, is what that is? We fight it? Yeah, we can fight it. Hell yeah. Well, I guess my real question is, should we fight it? Uh, it's kind of like a hit and run kind of fight where it does a big AoE attack and then you can run in and hit it a few times, then it does another big AoE attack. Grotch. I back off. What? What? <laughs> off. It's gonna lunge at us. Oh. It's not happy. He, he, Ingy. I was sleeping. Ah! I do some pretty good damage. I don't think I hit him a single time there. I'm really sorry. Got him. I don't think I hit him at all. I'm really sorry about that. It's okay. I don't know. I have a hard time judging like the depth of my attack, if that makes sense. Yeah, the dragon great axe doesn't exactly have the best or the best verticality. Not like a halberd with this big swing. Mm. So there's the butt of it. We Just we smack out. smack the ass, or there's actually a glitch. I wonder if it's still there, where if you jumping attack it, it makes the butt stand up. <laughs> Hang on. It's passive. Uh, do you want to do that? Do you want to try yeah. it? Yeah, I'll try if you want to get a good shot of it. Yep, there you ah! go. <laughs> That's funny. Just stands up. Completely passive. Can it die? Yep. Just has a bunch of health. 
<laughs> this is the world's strongest ass. Oh my god, what is this thing's fucking HP at? Can you see the health bar? I don't see it. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. This thing's not gonna like just take a dump of poison on us, is it? Nah, it's completely passive. Mind me, just mashing the attack button. When will this thing die? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Is it invincible? I, I'm pretty sure you can kill it. I don't think you can kill it, bud. I'll Google it. <laughs> Dragon ass. Can it be killed? Dark souls... Painted world dragon horse. So that's a good way of saying it. <laughs> the undead dragons are found, and blah 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 blah. Can't find anything about killing it. Oh. So I guess we don't have to. <laughs> Leave it in its butt uh, state. Yeah, right. So what do we do then since its ass is just chilling? So if we wanted to, we could just skip the entire zone and fight the boss. Uh, I mean, do you want to do that? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Or, now that I think about it, there is, like, one NPC invasion that we can do. Alright, we so, can do that. Might be good to do that first. Why is the camera so zoomed in here? What did I, like, I don't know what it is. I just feel like I'm taking up so much more of the screen here. Yeah, I noticed that, too. Not crazy. Thank you. <laughs> It this way. It is now. Oh, item. I'm, I have a lot of these things stocked up, so I'm probably going to like use a bunch of them in a little bit to get at least two or three levels out of it. On fire. Yeah. This looks survivable. Is it? Yep. Alright. Maybe. Echo. Oh, wait. I could just... Then... Yeah. That was nicer. Got him. Where the bird people at? What? What was that? It like made the sound that you hit him, but he didn't die. <laughs> Get in my ass, stealthy. With pleasure. <laughs> With pleasure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I don't. Oh my god, I'm such a brave ass warrior. Let's go. I didn't mean to do that. Oh wait, is this that area? Yeah, this is we're all the way back here again. I'm sorry. Yep. All right. Wait, we could just drop down right here. That's where we were before. Yeah, but I didn't grab the item. Oh, okay. I want to grab the item. Now it's my mission. Oh, 
How'd you get here? There was a shortcut. God damn it. Now we are <laughs> one <laughs> brother. Out of my ass. <laughs> Fuck this. Item sucks. I don't want it. You can have it. I don't care. Be just a soul item. Is there a good one? Wait, where'd you go? This way. <laughs> oh, you're trying again? No, I, I, I didn't know where else to go. There's a staircase leading up. Oh, found a bird person. It wasn't even a soul item, it was just eggs. Just a spiky acorn. I don't even want that. Bird people. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you... Oh. Well, she is not going to be in Rush Hour 3. Off. Ah, fell off. Alas, it was you who did the falling. Uh, walking on is ill advised in this zone. Red sign soapstone? That's further. If you want to summon somebody to invade you for, like, PvP. Ah. I see. Well, I do not want that, so I will not be using that. Alright, do I go back down the stairs, then? Yeah, I'll put my sign down there. Alright, well, I'm at the bottom of the stairs, and there's just a place to drop, but I don't have any Estus right now. Yeah, if you want, you can go back to the bonfire. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Again. Wait, how do I... Where's the exit? Oh, there it is. I'm done. Okay. Who built this place? I believe the lore is that it was kind of created as like a holding space. Like... I like a prison? Pretty much. Oh, interesting. A another question. How do S what are Estus in this universe? Like, like, how would you best describe them? How would I best describe the Estus? Yeah. No clue. Great. Is it like a Orange potion, juice. or is it just like magic? Yeah, it seems to be something for undead. That kills them and replenishes up on fires. Gotcha. Much like the undead do when they die. Gotcha. Sign is down by the bonfire. I'm going to use, real quickly, a bunch of those soul items there. Get some sick level ups. Yeah. I have a lot of small individual ones. <laughs> In the original game, you had to use them one at a time. That sounds awful, and I hate that. <laughs> yeah. That was a nice improvement they made. Well, I'll get one level up out of it, probably, but... 
Oh, I have a lot for Brave Warrior, though. How much is that worth? Probably like yeah. oh. 1,000 or 3,000. Oh, 10 of them is worth 50, so there we go. Nice. Yo, we broke 100. I'm a, I'm a YouTube channel that can get fucking product. Or, uh, product. Uh, what is, what is it called? Advertisers? Uh, yeah, I guess it's uh, sponsors. There we go. YouTube figures? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Health is looking big boy status now. I got two level ups out of that, so. Feeling good. Well, yeah, if you need some homeward bones, I got plenty. I'm good for now. Cool. Yeah, made sure to buy like 70 of them. Oh my god, why? So I never have to worry about it. Yeah, fair enough. Can't blame you there. Were you going for the backstab? <laughs> Why are you doing that? Why? <laughs> oh, because he's the poison boy. I didn't notice. Yep. Are you done? Yeah, sorry. No, I'm just like the the flailing attack the enemy was doing. Ah. Uh, like, are you done? You finished? Got that out of your system. <laughs> you good? You good, bud? We calm down now? Okay. Oh, you were not dead yet. There we go. Guess we could go this Wait, way. what the fuck? It's alive! How did... <laughs> oh, this guy wants to say hello. And uh, we say goodbye. <laughs> All right. So. There we go. God, so much mice. I think you got a rat problem. Ooh, gold coin. What are those for? I think you can feed them to Frampt for 5,000 souls. For 5,000 souls, nice. What was that? Yeah. I don't think that's accurate, Troy. Sorry. I don't feel the need to. There is a ring that does that. Oh, really? Yep. Don't know if it's in this game, but... Oh. Silver cat ring. That guy did his best. <laughs> he tried. Eh, we're back here. Shitty poison, guys. Get out of here. Uh, up the stairs? Or down the stairs? Oh, that's right. Down yep. the stairs. Uh oh, that's not an NPC. Wow, that did a lot of damage. All right, well, there's only one place he can come from, right? So, yep, there he is. I see him up there. So unless he has uh, the villager uh, side smash. Oh, there you are. Hello. 
person? What was that? Yep. That's a human. Yep, that's a human. What's he what's he doing? <laughs> Nailed it. Let's get him. Yeah, I got him. Wow, you just blasted him with magic. <laughs> 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 Coward. <laughs> Yo, 21 subs. Let's go. Alright, you ready? Mm -hmm. Should it's let Rob 1v1 him? You suck. No, I was. Because I've never died in Dark Souls, you know? Phalanx. You saw Demon Souls. <laughs> Oh, is this from Demon Souls? I think it's like a slight homage to a similar kind of like shield and spear, like mass of humanity kind of boss. Gotcha. Should be a door around here. Yeah, I think that can be opened. Okay. I believe this, like, fighting the enemies here is a really good way to level up. Hell yeah. Oh, hey, the just bonfire. Like, yeah, just go in from the bonfire, kill all those guys, warp back to the bonfire. Maybe defeat a dark spirit while you're here. Speaking of which. Oh, the this... PC. Yep, this way. Gonna meet Tornado Head. Tornado Head? Yep. A custard tornado. Should be around here. Lots of proud knights around here. Mr. Xanthus, where are you? Not around here. I don't know, but I found an item. Cool. Acid surge. I assume that's a pyromancy. Hmm. Is there like a specific thing I need to touch or activate, or? No, I thought I was just walking into the zone. Maybe it's a different zone. Yeah, message here says be wary of strange creature, so So there should be one around here. Guess it just doesn't want to show up. Oh well. I'm gonna keep running around, because I I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Cool. Oh cool, souls. <laughs> And some scrubs. Oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I didn't die. Continuing the streak. <laughs> oh, small door. It's locked. It's locked. Eat the key. Dark souls. Zen plus spawn. Invade the player's world in the area to the right of the phalanxes guard when entering the, from the bonfire through the shortcuts. Go down to the cliff edge and he'll spawn at the top of the stairs. If you go down the ladder to the bone wheel tunnels and then wait for him, he can sometimes slide down the ladder. Oh, never mind. 
Yeah, I guess he just doesn't want to spawn. Weird. Oh, where are you at, by the way? I went down like a ladder, but there's like a dark area down there. Oh, I'm at the top by where we killed all the shield guys. Ah. Oh, there you are. Hello. There you go. Yeah, so since we're not doing that, we can go and fight the boss. Hell yeah. <clears throat> if you want to rest at the bonfire first. Yeah, it's probably a good call. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> goodbye, stealthy. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll head back to the bonfire then, and then uh, we'll be grilled cheese. Yeah, just disconnect. Might as well use the, the large souls that we just got. Probably yeah, get a level or two. Item, what was that? Just responding to Troy saying that I should have let you 1v1 him. <laughs> yeah, I could have, but like to use my miracles. A lot of PvP people don't usually expect you to actually use like lightning stuff. Gotcha. All right, so uh, I got. I'm all set. If you, if you, uh, you are. Yeah, sign is down. Because you can't uh, like back out of an email. Cause you're kind of locked into it, so it's a uh, ample time to use a spell. Ah, that makes sense. You need something. Oh, I got one humanity. I'm actually going to use that real quick. Because I don't want to use my Estus. Um, but at the same time, I have plenty of humanity, so... Wow, you weren't kidding. That was a lot of fucking souls. Yep. And if you wear like a, or if you wear the symbol of avarice and a ring that gives you extra souls when you kill things, it's pretty handy. Yeah, probably real beefy XP gain there. Yeah. Yeah, so it seems that we can't just walk through there unless we go underground. So instead, we can just go around. Okay. Pretty much to where the dragon thing was. Ah. Not too far of a detour. Definitely better than fighting bone wheel skeletons. Because, yeah, those are here. See, it's going back to its resting position. Oh, the the ass. What? Oh, 
possible. You have to look at that. <laughs> it worked again. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. My, hang on. Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. Huh? And turn it off. Oh, the gate, everything. Because it's playing audio through my stream. Unless they want to listen to you play Smash. You can, you can just bypass it to have the HDMI plug into the... That's all I'm saying. Yes. yes, and it doesn't matter. It captures the audio. The NPC invaded. <laughs> oh shit, what? It's okay. I think. I think? <laughs> shit, sorry. It's all good. Where's the NPC? Like I just saw the message show up. Oh. He invaded. We're good. Sorry. Tro Troy went to play Smash and it started blasting Smash Ultimate music, so. <laughs> Was literally that song. <laughs> oh, Jeremiah head home. <laughs> uh, pretty lady with scythe? Oh, talk to her? It's a nice fuzzy tail. Yeah. What do we do? We attack her? She just. Yeah, we can either just go forward and past her or just attack her and fight a boss. What do you recommend? Yeah, if you want to fight a boss, we can fight her. She's invisible. She also has a pale cat. And she's almost dead. And she's dead. She breatheth. Alright, hang on. Troy wants me to help him set that up, so just give me a second. Uh, okay. am, am I safe in this area here? or? I'm pretty sure you are. Don't think enemies would come through that area. I think he, he just got 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 by the amount of wires back there, but I got it. So, yeah, all right, just kill the dragon, and then I can fight the boss. Oh, I just went to the edge of the thing, and now it's a cutscene. Yeah, you just left the zone. Oh no! Can I it's go back? Fine. It'll take a bit to go back, so I'll just fight the boss by myself. I'm sorry. It's all good. <laughs> I did it just play the stock like dun -dun sound effect when I jumped. Cool. Got a homeward bone. Oh boy. There's a bunch of fucking dudes just chilling around here. Alright. Let's uh nope. And then nope. I mean, I guess you could use the homeward bone to go back to the world. 
Yeah, you want me to? I, I don't want to leave you hanging for two bosses now. <laughs> sure. Alright. I'm currently fighting the dragon, but I can go back to the bonfire. Uh, so it sent me to the Anne Orlando one. Hmm. Can I warp or? I don't think you can warp. Yeah, you could always try. Painted world. Yeah, it's an option. I didn't know that. Maybe it's a remaster thing? Mm. I don't know. I don't. I never really spent much time in the painted world. So. It might have just been something I overlooked. Yeah, if you want to place your sign by the bonfire, I'll go back there. Alright, give me one. Killing all of the bosses today. Yeah, right? Alright. Sorry, just gonna. Boop, boop. Alright, and then. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. There we go. There we go. It's right by the bonfire. I see it. <laughs> Once again, I rested at the bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not too many enemies. Still can't do that. Nope. Nice. Another sneeze has to come out, but it won't. Oh. Look at the sun. Wait, what? The sun? Where? You know, like to make the sneeze happen. Ah, is that a thing? Yeah, there's a certain amount of the population, myself included, that have kind of like a sneeze reflex when going from like a dark environment to a light environment. Oh, interesting. Like your eyes kind of get used to it and the peoples do that stuff. So usually when I wake up and go outside, I have one or two sneezes as soon as I leave the door. Nice. Get that item. I believe it's called a photic sneeze reflex. Huh. So that's like a thing a lot of people have? I think it's like 10 to 20 percent of people oh interesting so it's not exactly like super lot, rare but is this the it's only like way the... to get over there like to uh, glitch him upwards you know that pit i fell into uh -huh. that kind of leads to like an underground like labyrinth and going through there you kind of open up that door and, it, and then that leads to here naturally, as opposed to glitching your way here. Yep. Roch. Wonder if using my explosion spell would be good to try to get her tail cut. You can certainly attempt. Let me know when, and I'll just attack. Cool. Go ahead. Cool. 
What? I think you have to aggro her. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> In the event that you summon somebody and then they just charge the boss when you didn't want to. Yes, her shtick is being invisible for most of the fight. But if we're fast, we don't have to deal with that. She doesn't really... She's not like a good fight. She's like really easy. Probably because we're a bit over leveled. Ah, fair enough. Ooh, 15,000. Hell yeah. Yeah, so when I said that this world was made to, as a prison, that's what it was for. Mm. To keep her in here. The bonfires cut off from the others cannot warp. Well. Yeah, from. You have to jump down through there. Jump down through there? The oh, I have to go to the end of the thing again? All right, I'm just gonna like rush there. Mm -hmm. Now deal with all these sillies. Yep, yep, just loving this right now. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. How do you do a jump attack? Uh, forward and right trigger. Opposed to forward and right bumper for kicking. Alright, well, I'm gonna switch to a different weapon to do that, because right trigger for me is just stand still and do your big-ass move. Yeah, it's probably best not to try with that weapon. It's a lot of weapon durability. Would my battle axe be fine? Yeah, any other weapon would work. Okay. Well, so when I'm running, you just forward and attack? Uh, you press forward and attack at the same time, similar to like a kick. Oh, okay. Oh, but there we go. The trigger instead of the bumper. Okay, we're good. Ah! Later, man. I'm out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> I didn't know that guy respawned. Well, he, he did now. Okay, back here. Yeah, so now that you're back at Anorlando, if you want, you could kill the Bonfire Keeper. Or oh, yeah. better yet, you could go to uh, the Daughters of Chaos and kill the Bonfire Keeper there. So you don't really need that Covenant anymore. 
Although killing the bonfire keeper kind of gets rid of the bonfire, so. Yeah, probably not a great plan right now, then. Well, I mean, unless you... It only really matters if you want to go back to that area, which I don't think you're going to want to go back to the lava area anytime soon. Nah, nah, I'm good. Although, now that I think about it, there is actually, like, you know that Great Hollow mm -hmm. area? That area leads to the end of Siegmeier's quest, so having a bonfire close to there would be handy. Yeah, it does sound pretty handy, actually. So maybe the Anor Londo bonfire keeper. Because you have the Princess Guard bonfire across the way that you can uh, use. So, alright, looking at, looking at the dial thing. Uh, pushing it. No clue. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Just brute force it. Yeah, there we go. Back up I go. Moving on up. It's all rest of the bonfire. You think I could take the keeper or no? Yeah, easily. Oh, okay. And with that, I'll be able to upgrade my Estus? Yeah, you'll take her bonfire keeper soul, which you can bring to a different bonfire keeper to reinforce your Estus flask. Hell yeah. <clears throat> well, I do wonder if that'll affect a certain covenant. I mean, um, I'm, I'm technically I'm good with the Estus I have now. It's just, you know. Should be fine. At the worst, it'll change the zone a little bit, which was inevitable anyway, so. Okay. So, you think I can kill her and it's fine? Uh, what I would recommend is actually warping to, like, Firelink Shrine. Ah. Rest, resting there, warping back, and then killing her, so that you can... Homeward Bone to Firelink Shrine. Oh, okay. Because as soon as you kill her, the bonfire goes out. Oh, that's that's a good call. Good call. Yep. Oh, Sigmire's here. Oh, it's his daughter. He went on his final adventure. Don't worry. That's just the way he is. Undead or no. Sort of reassuring, really. If he goes hollow, I'll just have to kill him again. Mm -hmm. So did he die? He might have. Or at some point he died, but, you know, because he's undead, he comes back to life. Oh, okay. But if you... In the lore, at least, if you do that too many times, you go nuts. Ah. Much like in the game, when you're frustrated at the bosses. <laughs> All right, so there we go. I'm at I'm at in Orlando now. Not gonna rest at that bonfire, so I can just attack her. All right. Good luck. And she's dead. This man nice. Is a threat. This man is a threat, Master Gwendolyn. Firekeeper soul. Yeah, so you can homeward. Uh, it back. says I can light the bonfire. Can you? Oh, Firekeeper's absent. Gotcha. Yeah. Homeward bone. Bone up. Yeah, so if you let the Lawtrek character, the orange guy, survive, then... He would have killed the bonfire at Fire or er, bonfire keeper at Firelink Shrine, and would have made it unusable. That would have been really shitty. Which you only get to fix once you get to Firelink Shrine, or er, once you get to Anor Londo. Ah, I see. Then you can invade Lotrex world and steal her soul back. 
Gotcha. Um, okay, so what what's our next plan of action? Because uh, I'm I might be good on the stream, but if we're about to fight another boss or something, we can keep going. Nah, it's probably a good idea to end the stream here. Oh, okay. Then we'll uh, then we'll just end it there then. All next right. stream, we're fighting a big fluffy dog. Oh, nice. Oh wait, is that the meme meme dog? Could be the meme dog. The one in the video where it's like the guy like dancing and the dog with a sword in its mouth. Yep. Yeah, meme dog. I like meme dog. But so, uh, good yeah. art. We we uh we made a shit ton of progress this stream, right? So. Is that six or seven bosses? Yeah, easily around there, right? Uh, granted, that last one kind of. <laughs> we were we were a bit too good for it, but you know, yo, that was sick. That was a tight stream. So, thanks for joining me, Stealthy, and good night, everybody. Bye.